Our panel is back with us to discuss. Sarah, Jill, Charles, I appreciate you making time, a little more time for us. And Sarah, I want to start with you and what Mr. Broad, Mr. Broad said, the only witness to claim that Derek Chauvin's use of force was justified. I heard a few things in there that caught my ear. One was objective reasonableness. The other had to do with following policy. I know that there's a public disconnect with some between what's reasonable and what's allowed under policy. And then that remark he made that said that the police don't have to fight fair. They can use more force to overcome your force if you continue to mount resistance. What did you think the net effect of that testimony might be on the jury? Jurors are not stupid, Joshua. They heard uh, in the span of days from five Minnesota police officers, the police chief, which is rare that a police chief would testify, the officer that trained Chauvin, a law professor at the end of the case, and um, a Chauvin's supervisor, who all consistently testified that the use of force by Chauvin was unreasonable, it was unjustified, it was excessive, and Chauvin was not trained to use this force. This was an opening statement. I think we heard Nelson say that, that he's going to prove that, that Chauvin did what he was trained to do. Well, that's not true. And that at the end, that, uh, you know, that, that this is against department protocol. So, you know, this guy, you know, is poker face sitting there opining on the reasonableness of use of force in the face of extremely compelling testimony by multiple uh, witnesses uh, about how it is unreasonable and excessive. And, and so, you know, uh, to Chris's point, um, it's not the qu quantity, it's the quality of these witnesses, but yeah. these are important witnesses from the police department, someone who trained Chauvin, all of whom are saying this was not okay. 